Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to take a break from exploring the Ember Inspector and start a series on sorting and filtering. You may recognize this list as the list of hit YouTube videos that I compiled during some of my earlier videos last year. So I've added a little bit more information, a cr day that they're created and a day and time that they were last updated. However, right now they aren't organized very well. Let's say we want to organize the videos based on the time they were created. How would we do that? First, you could make an array controller. However, those are being phased out. So let's make a regular controller. Include the sortable mixin. So you have your sort properties property in the controller, and it's an array. It sorts based on the first property. Then, if there are ties, it sorts based on the second property. We're just going to use one property today, and that property will be created at. If we go back to our index page, we'll see that it's still not sorting. That's because in our template, we're looping through the model of our array controller, but sort properties doesn't affect the model property. It affects a property called arranged content. So if we replace model with arranged content, then the content will sort correctly. So it's sorting, but what if we wanted to have the most recent at the top? For that, we'll need the sort ascending property. Sort ascending is a Boolean that defaults to true. So if it's true, lower value goes first. If we want the most recent videos up top, that is the videos with the highest created at value, then we'll need to make sort ascending false. Now we have the most recent up top. But what if we want to sort by a different property? Maybe we want to sort by author's name. We could go into the code and edit it, but that's not an option for our site's users who don't have access to the code. It would be great if we could let the user sort by any of our four properties. Fortunately, Ember lets us do that. Let's make each of the table headers have an action, which we'll call sort by. The actions will take an argument, which is the property that we want to sort by. Let's replicate that for all the table headers. Then we'll create the action in the post controller. This version is very simple. You set the sort properties to the property argument. Now, when we click the header, it sorts based on that criteria. Note, however, that sort ascending is always staying the same. In this case, we've set it to false, so it always sorts in a descending manner. Let's change this. When we click on something for the first time, we want to sort in an ascending manner. If we click on it a second time, we want to sort the sort to change directions. So we do this by a simple condition that is added to our action. If we're clicking a property a second time, then we toggle sort ascending. Otherwise, we set sort ascending to true and we can see that it works. Today, we learned how to use sort properties, sort ascending, and arranged content to easily sort lists of data. Next time, we're going to provide visual feedback and a more intuitive interface using some advanced component techniques. I'll see you then.